Still in health matters, the United Nations International Children's Fund Emergency Fund, UNICEF, has recorded a steep decline in routine childhood immunization coverage in Africa after the COVID-19 pandemic. Against this background, UNICEF and other stakeholders in the health sector have urged African leaders to prioritize improving childhood immunization to ensure every child is well vaccinated and protected from deadly diseases. New Central's Omolola Ololade has more. Vaccines have proven to be one of the most successful public health interventions to control the deadliest infections. Yet, in eastern and southern Africa, the continent have experienced a 6% decline in child immunization coverage compared with pre-COVID times, with more than 4.6 million children missing out on life-saving vaccines in the last three years, according to UNICEF. While the COVID-19 pandemic may have helped the continent improve on its responsiveness to epidemics and pandemics, that has also exposed and exacerbated the weaknesses in primary health care services in Africa, especially with the shortages of key medicines and vaccines at local levels. Countries like Nigeria must address their local vaccination failures by prioritizing funding for access to vaccines, strengthening large capacity vaccine coverage and storage, maintaining an effective coaching, improving research centers and addressing vaccine hesitancy. However, the consequences of failing to vaccinate children may become more severe in years to come. The recent resurgence of measles, cholera and poliovirus in Africa is a warning that African government need to step up their recovery effort to stop the decline while protecting children against vaccine-preventable diseases. So lives are at stake. And I can't stress enough the need for increased attention from donors, from health leaders and manufacturers. WHO is fully committed to working with partners to find ways in which to boost manufacturing capacity, increase vaccine access, and ultimately change the trajectory of this devastating disease. Africa is, however, still lagging behind, and they must do or they must make efforts to improve the understanding of our limitations. It's important for us to understand that most of these vaccines are not made in Africa. So they must leverage on administrative and technical as well as financial support from bilateral and multilateral agencies like the WHO and UNICEF. Immunization is not just a health issue. It is a political, socio-economic and gender issue that requires both political and economic solutions. UNICEF, as well as other stakeholders, call on African leaders across the region to act fast while taking strong political action to reduce the gap in vaccination and make sure that all children are immunized and protected. Omolola Ololade reporting for News Central.